What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host and longest reigning WWE pay-per-view champion of all time, the Hot Commodity and C. I'm joined by my Hot Commodity and, and my good friend and co-host. Introduce yourself, sir. My name is Christian, co-host here. We're going to talk about Raw. Tonight's an important day. We are less than an hour from the press conference where we get our answers to the starting promo of this Monday Night Raw, which we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so definitely I'm looking forward to that. It's the press conference live in Vegas. I think they're having, like, there's some kind of... Dude, Vegas is popping. The Super Bowl, conference? everyone's this, in the... The Super huh? Bowl is this weekend, right? That's in Vegas. Yeah, oh, they, they're doing Super Bowl press inside this. They've been doing Super Bowl press inside the stadium inside Las Vegas for, like, the last week. So, every um, excuse me, all the football there. players... All the celebrities are in Vegas right now, so okay. there's going to be a lot of celebrities at that press conference tonight. I'm excited to see what's going to go down. That's happening at 7 o'clock Eastern time for Pacific. So we're starting WWE Monday Night Raw on February 5th, 2024, live in St. Louis, Missouri. And we have the world champion Seth Rollins coming out. And Seth says, after SmackDown, I smell what's cooking. I sense that you guys want Cody Good news, I want him as well. Cody Rhodes, come on down. So then Cody Rhodes comes out. Seth says, I need this match as much as you do. I'm being real with you. I got to know I'm better than the last time. I got to test myself against the best. And Cody Rhodes, you are the best. Are you going to fight me at WrestleMania? Before Cody can respond, Drew McIntyre comes out. Drew says, what the hell? I lead you both up perfect for WrestleMania. And you're going to screw it up. You hated CM Punk, and I took him out. We're supposed to fight at WrestleMania, Seth. Cody, you got to finish the story. You talked about it for two years now. You've earned this moment. Don't let anyone down. Don't let your dad down. Seth says, you don't have to be a prick. What makes you think if he doesn't accept it, it will be you versus me? You lost every time we fought. Drew says, didn't you lose to him three times in a row? Ignore what Roman Reigns said. This is a this is the workhorse title. You've done a good job, but it's my time. And then uh, Drew hits Cody with a Glasgow kiss, but then Cody ends up taking out Drew McIntyre. Well, I'm sorry, Drew hits Seth with a Glasgow kiss, and then Cody takes out Drew. So we don't get an answer from Cody yet, but Drew McIntyre definitely wants another shot at Seth Rollins. And do you care? Because I don't really want to see this again. He's really? Beating. You don't want to see Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins again? Okay. Like I don't think this is the – see, this kind of sucks that we're talking about this literally less than an hour before we might get answers. Mm. I don't – so this is – if this episode sounds like I'm predicting towards tonight, I'm sorry. This is not what I'm trying to do. That's okay. just, Drew McIntyre is going to have a WrestleMania spot. There's no doubt about that. It probably will be against Sami Zayn. This is just pure prediction and speculation. This is nothing that I know. My prediction, because where does Drew McIntyre really fit into this world title picture? Yes, we've we've seen the matches. We know their little feuds. But if we're getting Rock versus the only way I see Drew McIntyre getting a championship match at WrestleMania versus Rollins is if, hey, it's a triple. Th- Cody says tonight, I'm being in the match. You guys can have your match, but it's a triple threat. I won the fucking Rumble. That's the only way I could possibly have it happen. I, 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 I don't. I'm with you. I don't care to see it, but just because we've seen it already, and I think they, their crown jewel match was fucking good. I don't think, and I don't think them doing it again can beat it. So, I, it, it, I don't think it's gonna happen. I, I, I don't think Drew getting another title shot at WrestleMania. Can we see that? Ooh. Is that fan made? Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's yeah. But hey. See, now, we don't know CM Punk. We don't know how long CM Punk's injury. We don't even know if he's officially going to be out of WrestleMania yet. 
I'm just sick and tired of seeing Drew McIntyre. Like he's he gonna be anything. Punk's gonna be a one of the hosts. Him and Rollins are gonna be in the same room. Let's pray to the wrestling gods that CM Punk could participate in WrestleMania this year. He and might drop that. Yeah, you're right. And maybe all I'm gonna say is tonight he drops that fucking sling and says, "Me and you, Rollins, let's go." That's my prediction. If if Rollins, Punk? yeah, if Rollins and Punk do fight and Cody fights, you know, Roman and Rock, then who does Drew fight? Sami Zayn. Again? For what? Who the fuck is he? Who? Damian Priest? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. Like, that's why like, I don't really like Drew McIntyre being involved because, like, you just, it's not going to make a difference. I think he's out the door. Yeah, I think so too. Like, there's really, if he, for him. Dude, if he doesn't do anything with Punk in the future, if there's no plans of him and Punk to actually do a program in the future, especially with him hurt, if he's legitimately hurt, yeah, Punk, I, I can see Drew Galloway. Being only Well, let's move on. We have our and Brock Lesnar. Go ahead. Well, Brock's definitely gone. Um, we have don't we, even get me started on that. We saw on SmackDown Tyler B and Pete Dunn. They won the qualifying match. So Pete Dunn, we have yeah. the raw version of this. We have the Creed brothers taking on DIY Imperium and the New Day. And I know you're not a Creed Brothers fan, but they look great in this match. Um, the end came after Brutus nails a Brutus ball to Vinci, but then DIY hit Vinci with me in the middle. And we're going to have DIY versus Tyler Bate and Pete Dunn, and the winners will go on to face Judgment Day at Elimination Chamber. But what did you think? Did you think DIY was the good? I know you're not a big fan of them. They won before, and they lost their tag title match. So, uh do you really think they're going to win against Tyler B and Pete Dunn? Probably not. I don't think so. Probably not. I'm liking this tag team. No one really cared that Pete Dunn changed his name back, which kind of disappointed me. I cared. I was happy. I like Pete yeah, Dunn. Yeah, but I feel like no one really cared. When Pete Dunn's name popped up, I feel like no one gave a fuck. Because when he's like, he oh. in WWE, he really hasn't been anything but a sidekick. So it's like for us fans who know what he's really like worth and what he can do, like we're yeah. like yeah, the bruiser weight, but like for everybody here, like, oh, he just changed his name, you know. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I don't I don't know if this is something I really I'm surprised. Happen. Like, I really think Judgment Day needs to drop the tag titles. They're going to Elimination Chamber, and Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Damian are Priest is cashing in and winning it. I'm going to start on that. We'll see. We'll see about that. But I just feel like something needs to – I'm tired. Like, they need to be in singles competition you now. Think Damian, you think Damian Priest is going to cash in at Elimination Chamber? No, I don't think he's cashing in at Elimination Chamber. He's saying at oh. Mania. Oh, I was going to say no way. Whenever the hell he cashes in, he's going to win it. Well, speaking of winning, we have the first qualifying match for the Elimination Chamber, Shayna Baszler versus Becky Lynch. This is a WrestleMania rematch, and it was a good match between the two. Becky got the window after a man manhandle slam. This was probably Shayna's best match, like, on her own. Yeah, in a long time. In a long time. In a long time. Really good. She looked dominant. Um, I think Becky's winning the chamber. Next week, we have Liv Morgan versus Zoe Stark in a qualifying match. Um, but what do you think? Becky, obviously, we knew she was going to win this. Yeah. No, no. Obviously, she's going to win the elimination chamber. I don't even need to talk about this. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was just going to see Becky win. Does that mean Nia Jax isn't going to be in WrestleMania? In the WrestleMania? Nia Jax will have – Nia Jax will lose at – in Australia, two Rhea Ripley. So probably, if she Becky Lynch will win the Elimination Chamber. That's how their match comes to WrestleMania. Yeah. If Nia fights at Mania, it'll probably be like a tag match or some kind of like Battle Royale. She won't be in a Mina. Nia ain't going to be in no WrestleMania singles match. I don't think so. She'll um, main event Elimination Chamber. Me, Not me because think? of her. Yeah. She's going to main event Elimination Chamber. If Bro, you're going to tell me Rhea Ripley ain't going to main event in Australia? Well, that's really? like saying the Brooklyn Brawler is going to main event at Barclays Center. When that's they my there. friend. I know, but still, the Brooklyn Brawler we, is not. I, we literally talked yesterday. 
You well, know I'm right. friends with the Brooklyn Brawlers. I'm glad. My thought on it, respect to him as a person, but like it's like just because they're from that area doesn't mean that they're gonna really like who else is from there? It's Rhea Ripley. Sorry, Brooklyn no, Brawler. Bro oh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. But you mean your I respect the hell out of you. You know our conversations, whatever. But I'm gonna say this right now. You cannot compare the Brooklyn fucking brawler. Star power back in the day, now to Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, what the fuck is Brooklyn Brawler in Brooklyn, in New York? But, um, but what Rhea I'm Ripley is God like, in Australia in the pro wrestling missing, world. They're missing, but dude, honestly, no offense. Like, and you don't really like women's wrestling, right? So you can understand this. Yes, if but I love Rhea Ripley. Yeah, but like. To be fair, if you have a – the pay-per-view is the Elimination Chamber. Do you really think the fans in Australia are just – like, yes, they're going to be excited to pop for her and go hard, but after they pop for her, like, that's all they're really going to do. Like, they're just excited to see their hometown person fight. If you want to have something crazy happen and have Australia remember it and have a good – we already know Nia's losing. Like, there's no way – you know, if Bria was going to, you know – He's going to wrestle me. I see both. Honestly, I can see your side and I can see my side. I see both sides. Because you're right. You're right. The event's called Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber tends to have more OMG moments. Like, you're absolutely like, right. To, to be fair to your point, and this is just a point, the Iconics were from Australia. I mean. Were they as? Yeah. And they weren't as big. Trust they, they were. Rhea Ripley I'm, is huge. The only reason why I'm saying it is because Rhea's a world. Rhea's world champion. Yeah. But I, I, but I don't know. Again, not. again, they didn't. They didn't have main. They didn't main event. Bad Bunny and Damian Priest in Puerto Rico. So you could. You're. You're. You could be right. And I feel like that's what they're gonna do because it's like yeah. they, they. They didn't have that match main event. If you're you know that. If you, the reason to you gotta think about it is this too. Yes, they're trying to make a big pop for Australia, but they're also selling this show to people in Oklahoma. And do you really think Jim Ross is gonna want to see the main event Nia Jax versus Rhea Ripley? No offense. No, I agree. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I, see, I see what you're like, saying. personally, I'm looking forward to that match. But I just think that like if you're selling it to the world. Here's the I question. Are you both waking up at 4 a.m. to watch it? I am. I'm going to try. What, really what's the date? What's the date? It's a Saturday. Oh, we're watching it at 4 a.m. No, the, the actual – I'm going to look it up because my – I think my – um, Elimination. I would be – like, if it ended, I would be okay with it being the end because I think Rhea Ripley is that good. I just don't think that February twenty fourth. Yeah, I don't have my schedule. I don't have my schedule for that day. I think I it's have... probably going to be. Oh, I only have till the twenty third. I have my schedule up till February twenty third and not the twenty fourth. But I work. I work that Friday night. So if I don't have to go to work Saturday that Saturday morning, I'll watch it. I'm gonna watch it in the morning. I'll just drink a shit ton of Mountain Dew and fucking. We'll do it. We'll make it. I'll scream for you. Stay up. Um. All right, so let's talk about our next couple of segments. Drew McIntyre is backstage. He gets fined by Adam Pierce for um, what he did for having that shirt that he made of CM Punk. Speaking of Rhea Ripley, the women's champion Rhea Ripley comes out. Rhea says, I want Nia Jax in this ring so I can rip her bloody head off. Adam Pierce comes out and Pierce says, we're not doing this now. You got her at the Elimination Chamber. Nia Jax comes out, Rhea and Nia brawl. They get separated by security, but Nia lands a splash in the corner to Rhea and security members. And then Nia uh, once again lays out Rhea with the Annihilator. Obviously, Rhea is going to win at Elimination Chamber, but it does make Nia Jax look good heading into it that she's been taken out. Rhea Ripley two times in a row, two weeks in a row. We've got two more weeks. So next week, Rhea will do something to her. The next week, Nia. We'll do something, and the next week Rhea wins. Yeah. Boom, we'll boom, see. boom. I mean, we just talked about Rhea, so we can move on. Um, next, we see Ivar and Valhalla defeating Akira Tozawa and Maxine Dupree oh. after Ivar nails a world. This was bad, Ant. Pop. It was. Did bad. you see this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. Before you go over it, did you see this match? Yeah, it wasn't that good. It was. This was. 
This was atrocious from both sides, not just the Maxine Dupree spots, which I will talk about, but this match was bad. It was bad. There wasn't anything really good, like I said. Just and uh, they've had this match for f- they were almost two her months now. After she did her cartwheel elbow, like you know, they they boo the shit out of her, and I thought yeah, they were. Was, yeah. Maxine is like the new botch queen. But I do I like only want to see Maxine for that for her ass at this. Point. I like Maxine, but I get it. Like well, she does. Need, she needs to to do some work in NXT a bit. But I'm look at her butt, and that's it. Not her wrestling. I mean, there's really nothing to talk about with this one. I, the, the Vikings get the advantage again here on the wall. Um, Judgment Day are backstage. They show our truth the new T-shirts that they have, and they tell them to stay backstage for this next match. And the next match is the Miz defeating. JD McDonough with Dominic Mysterio by his side. Um, Dominic got involved many times, but then R Truth came out giving away the t shirts to fans. Truth then takes a picture with Dominic and hugs him while putting on the shirt. And then um, the Miz nails a skull crushing finale to JD McDonough to get the victory here. The Miz looked really good here. Um, what did you think? Marvin? No, I said the Miz looked good here. What did you think about Miz being? Oh, you cut out right after. What did you think? That's okay. No, the Miz. The Miz is great. Um, he always looks good. This was good. Not really my cup of tea, uh, especially with the Miz being face. Uh, I kind of, kind of miss him doing the corny ass Miz TV heel shit and kind of just bringing out. You know, big guess. Um, but he's he's such a good in ring worker still. It it works out fine, but I, I think just, they're gonna win the tag titles. I think at WrestleMania they'll win the tag titles. I think we'll get that. Um, so we see Imperium talking backstage. Ron Breaker shows up and he has a conversation with Adam Pierce. So I thought Breaker was gonna interrupt Gunther and I was like, Oh, here we go. But uh we'll talk about that. Um, we then have Imperium reducing Intercontinental Champion Gunther to celebrate his 600 days as champion. Gunther says, to the surprise of no one, I'm celebrating my Jubilee as 600 days as champion. The ring general is the greatest champion of all time. Yes, he is. Um, he is. He's really good. I'm running out of competition here on Raw. That's when Jay Uso comes out. Gunther says, I get it. Simple gestures get these simple people excited. Last time I saw you, I got rid of you from the Royal Rumble. Uh, Jay Uso talks about how accomplished Gunther is. Gunther goes over Jay's accomplishments. And uh, Gunther says, you only had to put 50% of the work into it. Unlike you, I achieved all of this on my own. Jay says, I guess you're going to get this 100% of work. Gunther, after 15, and then Gunther says, after 15 years, you're finally got the guts to step out of the shadow of your family. You're not the first, and you won't be the last to ride on my coattails. But I'm going to beat you so bad to the that I'm going to send you back to the good old days when no one could tell you and your brother apart. <laughs> and it was true. Jay Uso attacks. The Imperium hit Jay until the New Day make the save. So Gunther made some points. You know, it is true. Most of Jay's accomplishments are as a tag team. Uh, but Jay has a crowd behind him. Do you think uh, he's going to have a good Fuck no. Character? Gunther is the best wrestler in that company when it comes to in-ring wise. He's phenomenal. He should be champion forever. Never take the fucking championship off Gunther. Yep, yeah, I mean, fun. I love the guy. Who the fuck? I like, I like Jey Uso, but like, Gunther's going to squash that little bitch. Uso will be in the chamber. Like, yeah, it yeah. will be. No, or he'll fight Gunther at Chamber for the title. The way these Roman Reigns marks are with that title run, I'm kind of like that with Gunther. I love Gunther. I want him to I leave like those him. stupid. I need yeah. him to leave Imperium. At least he like competes and defends it like all the time. He can't so asso- I hate him associating himself with stupid two goofballs. And he's the most serious of them all. They're good in the I ring. love when he says this precious sport. You have a for, uh, Austrian accent again. This yeah. precious sport of professional wrestling. I love when You're giving that. me like Drew McIntyre vibes. I love when Gunther says that. Scottish. 
Well, I'm a big Gunther fan too, but I feel like he's going to drop it soon, unfortunately. He's losing it at Mania. Next, the tag champions, the Kabuki Warriors, defeat Caden Carter and Katana Chance after Kyrie kneels an insane elbow. And it makes me feel bad because I'm a big Asuka and Kyrie fan, but with them as tag champions, I don't care about the matches. I don't care about the tag division. But if you have anything you want to add, you can. I don't give two fucks about this. Yeah. I'm just excited for Smack for tonight to see. Will Bailey be there? Yeah, Bailey should be there at the press conference tonight in Vegas, right? She, she should. She's not on the poster, but she should be though. She should be. She's the winner. She's the Royal Rumble. This is my problem, man. They're probably won't going to do it. Io Sky can't fucking promo. This is why you need Dakota Kai. This is why she shouldn't have challenged. This is why you should have taken the belt off Io. And I can't believe I'm saying this because I don't like this girl. But why didn't you put the title on Bianca Belair before WrestleMania and have fucking her go after or Bailey go after her? That would have been great. You didn't need. You could have done this down the road. Because this Oscar WrestleMania will done. then be the WrestleMania rewind because they've done Bianca versus Bailey for a million fucking times. Then that's the problem. But listen, I think we'll see what happens with EO, man. You never know. Something might I happen. I love EO. She's you great. Might get an interpreter, you know, you never know. Um, EO's great. I just, good. she's so boring. I can't get into, like, how do people, there's people on Twitter who are obsessed with her. I'm like, dude, she's phenomenal in the fucking ring. Yes, but unless you're Japanese, what do you connect to her? How do you connect with this chick? Like she's not like, oh yeah. It's just like yeah. her. She hasn't had a storyline except for the, except for this, and she barely hasn't had. She barely yeah. has said anything. Bailey's done all the talking. Well, maybe this will we'll start to see a better side of her now with this happening. And um, there was more Oscar and the other one that are like pissing Bailey off, and then she was like, they both none of them can cut. None, one of you seen Oscar cut an English promo. Without her saying, ah, ah. Listen, the worst problem was when she won the women's title at, after Money in the Bank. She's like, I won. And she's like, ah. She's like dancing and acting all fucking crazy. Um, yeah, she's she's she phenomenal in the ring. She Her character is That's absolutely amazing. stupid. Yeah. All right. Sami Zayn is in the crowd in the stands alone before Raw. And Sami says he's been thinking a lot. Triple H told him he was like Rocky Balboa because... He lost against Roman Reigns but never gave up. Sammy is not an underdog. He's a contender that will be champion one day. He wants to prove to everyone that they should have believed in me. So we'll see what Sammy Zayn's going to do. I mean, doesn't really look like anything special, but not anytime soon. we're getting a different side of Sammy. Um, we've made it to our main event, the special Texas bull rope match, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Cody Rhodes. And uh, they're using Dusty Rhodes' actual Texas bull rope that he used back in Madison Square Garden. Um, this match didn't do it. They fought so many times. Boring. Nothing new from this. Yep. Um, the end came after Cody nailed a low blow and a crossroads. After the match, Drew McIntyre nails Cody Rhodes from, be Cody Rhodes from behind and nails Cody with a claymore. I knew uh, Drew was going to get involved. What do you think? I mean, we know that tonight is the press conference, so we're going to get answers, but um, hopefully Shinsuke and Cody is long done. I'm over the two of them fighting. I'm so this over it, dude. This done. was like, this was okay. I mean, I watched it, but it's like, dude, like I've said it so many times. There's nothing. There's nothing. They did it in a house show. There's nothing and that we can or that they can do for for people to care because there's nothing they're not going to gain anything from this what's the point all these storylines have points what the, why do they keep throwing him with cody randomly for what this is the most off on inconsistent storyline i've seen in a long time and it's I coming think, from WWE. I think they're trying to Shinsuke in the main, in like you know the upper cards, and it's like their frail attempt at it. I don't know. I just think they put him in there because of the whole switch with CM Punk getting hurt that changed everything up. So now put Shinsuke in. Um, 
this was just a raw match. Nothing's going to come of this. They're going to move on to Drew versus Cody at Elimination Chamber. I wouldn't be surprised if Drew McIntyre attacks Cody here at the press conference. Um, but I really just... Who knows? We don't know. It's still up in the year WrestleMania. We have a couple of, we have 30 minutes away from the press conference to find out what's going to happen. So Christian, before we wrap up, what was your favorite moment of Raw this week? Anything that you wanted that left you? I mean, there was nothing really crazy this week. Uh, I agree. I was excited to see Becky win the cham- win the match again into the chamber. I mean, know, getting I, off of that. I guess... Drew or Gunther's promo with yeah, Jay was, yeah. because I didn't expect Jay to. That's definitely gonna keep me curious. Is is J, are they not gonna do Jimmy versus Jay at Mania? Are they gonna do Jay go on Gunther at WrestleMania? Who knows? Maybe that. I don't know. And also, one little quick thing: Big E is gonna be hosting too tonight. Big um, E, CM Punk, McAfee, and Michael Cole. So that'll be interesting to see him hear his thoughts obviously he can't compete but it'll be good to see Big E but with that it's been you know a decent episode overall we're excited for the press conference coming out tonight we'll get some more answers hopefully in regards to Wrestlemania 40 we have Smackdown coming out a recap Elimination Chamber is what two weeks away Perth Australia we know Rhea Ripley is going to defend against Nia Jax and that's the I mean aside from the Chamber matches are the only matches that have been made so until next time Stay safe and stay uncensored. Bye, y'all.